What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and I have another GTA 5 online video for you. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. I hope you all had a great week. It is my last weekend off before I got to go back to the grind, so I will be on GTA probably most of the weekend and then back to work on Monday. So for you to enjoy this weekend, I have a new workaround for the buy anything for free aka the helmet glitch, aka the apartment glitch, uh, aka the gloves on any outfit glitch. Um, so as you've probably seen, I've done a lot of different videos on this, how to merge outfits, how to put racing gloves on existing outfits, um, how to put gloves on save wizard and blah 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 blah. But the main two purposes is the colored bulletproof helmets and as well the buy anything for free. So just like before, we're going to start off on our first console, all right? We do need two consoles for this. We are going to set up our outfits if we're doing the bulletproof helmets. The first outfit we're going to create is we want to have one with a motorcycle helmet. I will leave a list down below telling you which helmet corresponds with what. And then we need a second outfit that's going to be wearing any of the colored adversary helmets already. So if you're doing the bulletproof method, it's the exact same way, same setup as before. I will leave a link down below for my other videos as well. So I'm going to start off on this outfit, and I, once I've forced a save, I just put a parachute on, I go back to story. Now once I'm in story, I'm going to tell my friend to log in on his console, and he wants to reset the cache, okay? So he's going to be starting up GTA fresh. He wants to hold R1 as soon as that girl taking a selfie goes away. He wants to hold R R1, and he's going to get this first calibration screen. He just wants to go ahead and accept it, okay? So he's going to load into story just like normal. So this is the only part that's changed, all right? So the patch, what happened is it was still kicking you guys back to story. So even when you were selecting a different character or you were joining a friend quick, it wasn't working. So this part for your friend is the workaround. The rest is the same, okay? So if you're familiar with the glitch, you can pretty much skip ahead after I show you this part. So once you're in story, you can go ahead and start up an invite-only session. You're going to get the policy alert here. This is where your friend stays now, and that's all they have to do. So they're going to stay there, and they're going to say, okay, you're good to log back in. So you log back into your account on the first console. You'll still be in story mode because that's where you left off. And from there, you can go ahead and start up a new invite-only session. If it kicks you back to story the first time, like it usually does, that's fine. Just go ahead and start up a new invite-only session. All right. Now, you should still be wearing, obviously, the first outfit as well. So you will be when you, you will put on the biker helmet if we're doing it for the actual bulletproof helmets. And then when your friend logs in, it's still going to be showing you wearing the biker helmet when you do come online. And now when we're back on our console online, this is where we want to buy everything or change our outfit okay so just like I said none of this has changed from this part just the part where your friend sits on that screen so I'm gonna go ahead and for the purpose of the videos I was gonna buy a Deluxo but they've actually gone on sale so I'm gonna buy some scramjets instead alright so I'll go ahead and I'll buy I think I got enough for five scramjets so I'm gonna put them in my Eclipse Towers 1 it was a completely empty garage so I'm gonna just stock those up and I'll show you at the end that they do actually stick all right so we're buying everything we want now you can also do the apartment glitch at this point as well so what you'd want to do is before you do that you want to sell to the cheapest apartments before you start the glitch so if you already have some eclipse towers in slot one two and three this only works for slot one two and three you would trade those in for the cheapest apartments you'll get a little bit of money and then what you want to do is when you're at this state, you can go ahead and replace them with the more expensive ones. So obviously you do need the money to purchase them. So that is the thing with this glitch. So it is buy anything for free, but you do have to have the money to actually physically buy it. All right. So if you have to start off low, this was a new account for me. I started off low. I did the apartments at first until I got enough to buy a Deluxo. Then once I had a Deluxo, I bought one Deluxo, sold it, did it again, sold it. Now, of course, you want to be careful when you're selling the vehicles because you do not want to get dupe detected um, and get a daily sell limit. So make sure you do pace yourself out when you are buying and selling vehicles, okay? So be careful with that. 
And then, of course, once you get enough money like I've got there, then you can start buying four or five Deluxos, and you can just keep doing it, rinsing and repeating until you build your account up. So I think I've got about 20 Deluxos now on this account that are ready to sell whenever I want, and I got that 25 million, which is good enough to buy five Deluxos at a time. No point of really overdoing it. All right. So once we wait for our Deluxos to get delivered, that's very important if you are buying cars, make sure you wait till they get delivered. I mean, I always do anyways just to be safe. Then once you've done that, you can go ahead and change your outfit if we're also using this for the bulletproof method or for the outfit merge. All right, so I'm just merging these two outfits together. So this one's just some black joggers and a racing top, which was actually using the same method. I was just playing around. This is when I was doing the different colored joggers, um, which if you haven't seen my video, I will leave a link down below as well. It'll show you how you can change the colors of your joggers. All right, so if you have some joggers that you've gotten, like these black ones, but you want to get some white ones or something like that, you can use this glitch to change the color of your joggers as well. But for some stupid reason, I keep getting these default gloves again. I keep getting the pink gloves no matter what I do. So our Deluxos have arrived, so now I'm going to switch my outfit. So I'm just going to merge it with this outfit, and I'll just put my parachute back on. So any way you want to force a save, you know, sunglasses, whatever, it doesn't matter, uh, even a headpiece, whichever I usually just use the parachute then from there once we have our save icon in the bottom right hand corner we can go back to story and now we can tell our friend to go ahead and accept that alert and go back online so he'll log back into your account he'll still be on that alert which is what we want he'll just hit that little checkbox go to an online session which we were already doing so he was just starting up an invite only session when we first started this and then it's just like before so he's gonna get into an invite only session we want to buy some ammo and then we want to change our outfit slightly again. So whether we put that parachute uh, or take that parachute off or, you know, whatever, it's headset, sunglasses, whatever it is, just until we get that forced save icon in the bottom right hand corner. All right. So it should be coming through here any second now. We're loading back in. And if done correctly, she's still going to be wearing, there you go, still wearing the old outfit. Okay. So I put that bodysuit on. And if we know it's worked, it means that we're still wearing the original outfit we started with, all right? Or, again, it would be the biker helmet if we were doing the helmet glitch. So we would start off with the biker helmet, and then when we log in the second time on our first console, that's when we switch it to the bulletproof helmet. So I just did it to the bodysuit, but that's when you would do the bulletproof uh, method or buy anything and all that kind of stuff. So once we forced our save, we bought that ammo, we took the parachute off, we can go back to story, and now our friend's part is done, okay? So you're just going to go ahead and log back into your account for the last time. You'll still be in story, so again, just start up a new invite-only session. And if everything is done correctly, you're going to load in. You're going to have the same amount of money that you started with. You're going to have all the vehicles that you purchased or properties, which you can now trade in and get that. Uh, it's about $1.5 if you're going from your high-end to low-end apartments and again just for slot one two and three so that's another cold 1.5 million so not too bad so as you can see here the outfit did merge as well so that's what I was kind of playing around with just to show you that it does work so I got the bodysuit it did change the color of my joggers as I mentioned okay uh, but so we got kind of a pink and red outfit here obviously I'm not going to keep this but maybe I'll tweak it and change some things on it uh, but you know just to show you that it does work and if you look at the bottom of the top right hand corner I still do have that 25 million and if we go to Eclipse Towers 1 there is the five scramjets that I bought so there we go so that was completely empty now I got five scramjets and there's that 25 million that I started off with in the top right hand corner now of course if we're doing this for the helmet or the outfits you do have to actually go save it at this point um, so make sure you do head over to a clothing store or an ammunition to save it and then that is it. You're all set. You can go ahead and add some logos and all that kind of stuff if you want to using the magic spot, um, you know, using the gender, sw gender swap glitch or whichever. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for me tonight. I hope you have a great weekend. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. And also, if you want to become a member, you can also click on that join button down below, and we will be doing some specific perks for members. So make sure you read up on that as well. Alright guys, well this is your boy SCG, and until the next one, I'm out.